Well, greetings, hello and welcome. I'm Imperial Jedi, and I'm collaborating with Paradox Interactive to bring you a mod-free tutorial on how you can improve your cargo hubs and city skylines. In this video, we'll be going over some design and layout ideas, we'll tackle some traffic, and we'll also do some beautification. In city skylines, cargo can come from the region or it can be made locally within the city itself. And it moves around the city and the region by either trucks, trains, planes, or boats. And a cargo hub is anywhere these goods exchange from one form of transportation to another. And balancing the traffic this creates is pivotal if you want to ensure a smooth flow of goods and economically grow your city. One great way to manage your traffic in your industrial zones is to utilize one-way roads. One-way roads are really convenient in the sense that they do add extra lanes and flow to traffic without the need to have to do extra wide road layouts. Many service and freight buildings have a dedicated entrance and exit, and if you use the one-way roads properly, you can actually direct the flow of traffic so they don't have to turn in front of each other. And this will allow for faster intake and outflow of your buildings. This same logic with the one-way approach can also be applied to your rail systems. When done correctly, you can get pretty creative and force the trains to go through some of your custom-made rail yards, or maybe just take the scenic route through an industrial zone. Busier cargo hubs will sometimes get a queue of trains and a line of traffic. You can also use your one-way roads to direct the flow of that and create queuing areas so as not to stop the flow on your main lines. You can also use one-way rails and roads to create bypasses from busy stations. And the bypasses can take the form of either a tunnel or a bridge, or stay at the same surface grade. To help cut back on bottlenecking on your rails, you can create multiple corridors, separate your passenger and cargo traffic, and in some cases, instead of using rails, set up maybe an expressway or just take advantage of your main highway. You can take a bit more of a simplistic approach for detailing by using just simply some pathways, some trees, and some fences. With the goal being to visually create what looks like a safety barrier between roads, rails, and then maybe some of the larger factory buildings. For some more advanced detailing, you can line your shorelines with key walls, start using some of your favorite unique buildings, and you can start playing around with some of the assets that come with the different DLCs. And if you happen to have the Industries DLC, the main cargo hub is a perfect spot to put down some of the larger factories, as well as their accompanying warehouses. To add a little bit more variety to the buildings within the cargo hub, you can actually paint down small districts and add industrial specialization to them. And it doesn't matter if the resources aren't present, a vehicle will spawn in from the region or an adjacent freight station to supply the raw resource. Well, that's going to do it for us for today. I'm Imperial Jedi, I really appreciate you watching. If the video was helpful, definitely drop a like. If you haven't already, definitely subscribe as well. And I know this was a lot to talk about in a short period of time, so if you guys have any questions or want some follow-up, just drop me a line, I'll do my absolute best to answer. Otherwise, take care of yourselves. Happy building. Appreciate you being here.